Chapter 7 After this I saw four angels standing at the four corners of the earth, holding back the four winds of the earth, that no wind might blow on earth or sea or against any tree. Then I saw another angel ascending from the rising of the sun, with the seal of the living God, and he called with a loud voice to the four angels who had been given power to harm earth and sea, saying, Do not harm the earth or the sea or the trees until we have sealed the servants of our God on their foreheads. And I heard the number of the sealed, 144,000, sealed from every tribe of the sons of Israel. 12,000 from the tribe of Judah were sealed, 12,000 from the tribe of Reuben, 12,000 from the tribe of Gad, 12,000 from the tribe of Asher, 12,000 from the tribe of Naphtali, 12,000 from the tribe of Manasseh, 12,000 from the tribe of Simeon, 12,000 from the tribe of Levi, 12,000 from the tribe of Issachar, 12,000 from the tribe of Zebulun, 12,000 from the tribe of Joseph, 12,000 from the tribe of Benjamin were sealed. After this I looked, and behold, a great multitude that no one could number, from every nation, from all tribes and peoples and languages, standing before the throne and before the Lamb, clothed in white robes, with palm branches in their hands, and crying out with a loud voice, Salvation belongs to our God, who sits on the throne and to the Lamb. And all the angels were standing around the throne, and around the elders and the four living creatures, and they fell on their faces before the throne, and worshipped God, saying, Amen, blessing and glory and wisdom and thanksgiving and honor and power and might be to our God for ever and ever. Amen. Then one of the elders addressed me, saying, Who are these, clothed in white robes, and from where have they come? I said to him, Sir, you know. And he said to me, These are the ones coming out of the great tribulation. They have washed their robes and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. Therefore they are before the throne of God and serve Him day and night in His temple. And He who sits on the throne will shelter them with His presence. They shall hunger no more, neither thirst any more. The sun shall not strike them nor any scorching heat. For the Lamb in the midst of the throne will be their shepherd, and He will guide them to springs of living water. And God will wipe away every tear from their eyes. Revelation Chapter 7 Deed the Saved in the Great Tribulation Chapter 7 Chapter 7 comes between the sixth and seventh seals and introduces us to two important companies of believers. The chapter answers the question at the end of chapter 6, who is able to stand? Those described in this chapter will stand in the sense that they will be spared to enter the millennium with Christ. 7 verses 1 to 4 The vision of four angels standing at the four corners of the earth and holding back the four winds means that a great storm is about to burst on the world. However, the angels are told to delay this terrible destruction until the servants of God have been sealed on their foreheads. Twelve thousand persons from each of the twelve tribes of Israel are then sealed. 7 verses 5 to 8 The 144,000 are clearly Jewish believers, not members of some 20th century Gentile cult. These Jewish saints are saved during the early part of the tribulation. The seal on their foreheads brands them as belonging to God and guarantees that they will be preserved alive during the ensuing seven years. Two tribes are absent from the list, Ephraim and Daniel perhaps they are omitted because they were leaders in idolatry. Some think that the Antichrist will come from Dan, Genesis 49 verse 17. The tribes of Joseph and Levi are included in the list, Joseph doubtless taking the place of his son, Ephraim. 7 verse 9 the people described in this section are Gentiles from all nations, tribes, peoples, and tongues. They stand before the throne and before the Lamb with white robes, the righteous acts of the saints, 19 verse 8, and holding palm branches, which are a symbol of victory. 7 verse 10 These are Gentiles who will be saved during the Great Tribulation by trusting the Lord Jesus. 
In their song they celebrate their salvation and attribute it to their God and to the Lamb. 7 verses 11, 12. The angels and the elders and the four living creatures join in worshiping God, although the subject of redemption is missing from their praise. As the hymn writer said, angels never felt the joy that our salvation brings. But they do chant his praises and pronounce him worthy of seven distinct forms of honor. 7 verses 13, 14. When one of the elders asked John who were these people in white and where did they come from, John confessed ignorance but a desire to know. Then the elder explained that they had come out of the great tribulation and had washed their robes and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. When we stand face to face with an inexplicable mystery, writes F. B. Omeyer, how comforting it is to be able to say in perfect faith, Thou knowest. 7 verse 15. The elder went on to explain their present location and service. Bible students are not agreed as to whether this Gentile multitude is seen in heaven or on the millennial earth. The blessings described are true of either place. If the millennium is in view, then the throne of God and His temple refer to the temple which will be located in Jerusalem during the Kingdom Age, Ezekiel 40-44. Notice the blessings that are described. Perfect nearness, therefore they are before the throne of God. Perfect service, and serve Him day and night in His temple. Perfect fellowship, He who sits on the throne will dwell among them. 7 verse 16. Perfect satisfaction, they shall neither hunger nor thirst any more. Perfect security, the sun shall not strike them, nor any heat. 7 verse 17. Perfect guidance, for the Lamb who is in the midst of the throne will shepherd them and lead them to fountains of the waters of life, NKJV margin. Perfect joy, God will wipe away every tear from their eyes.